Welcome to another episode of Studio 259, Learning with TrackMan. Today we're going to talk about wedge distances. Now you may recall in a previous episode, we talked about finesse wedges. We talked about a technique for shortening the length of your backswing to make the ball travel a shorter distance. But today we're going to do something different. We're going to explore what goes wrong when your full swing with a wedge comes up short, way short. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy. T. Brown came in last week. I said, hey, great to see you. How's your golf game? He said, it's pretty good, except for my wedges. They're just not going anywhere. Played last week, par 3, 100 yards, downhill downwind, perfect for my gap wedge. Hit what I thought was a good shot, came up probably 20 yards short. I said, well, let's see what's going on. So had him hit a gap wedge, look at his very first swing. Carry distance, 79 yards, 20 yards short of his 100-yard goal. The reason, I guessed, was launch angle and spin rate. Ball is getting launched too high, spinning too high, costing him distance. So we took a video just to verify, and here's what we saw. We saw in the video, on the downswing, the hand stopped, club head kept going, and this is where he was at impact. So that gap wedge, that 52 degree gap wedge, in essence, became a 65 degree lob wedge at impact, sending the ball straight up in the air, costing him distance. He said, okay, what do I have to do different? I said, what we have to do, especially with our wedges, on that downswing, feel like we lead with the handle of the club, and at impact, feel like the handle of the club is in front of the ball. He said, okay, I think I've got it. So I said, let's hit a shot. Look at his very next shot, 84 yards. He added five yards to that shot. Launch angle went down, spin rate went down. I said, great, let's hit another one. 90 yards on that one, launch angle stayed low. I said, great, let's hit one more. And look at this on the fourth shot, carry distance 98. He went from 79 to 98 within a couple yards of his desired 100 yard distance with that gap wedge. It was pretty cool that he was able to do that so quickly, but it was also interesting to see it took him four swings. He didn't just get it like that. So when you're making changes, got to have a little patience. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time. Studio 259, Learning with TrackMan.